filled with mirages and mystery, at times Utah's desert landscape can be overwhelming or hard to grasp. Since 1976, Nancy Holt's land art piece, The Sun Tunnels, have beckoned travelers to experience the enchanting beauty that can't be found anywhere else on Earth. The sun tunnels were made by Nancy Holt, who was an American artist who was born in 1938. Nancy Holt first came out to the American West in 1968. She was completely blown away by the landscape out here in the West and just the vastness of this desert. I had an overwhelming experience. It was as if my inner landscape and the outer landscape were identical. Or, you know, they, they were just, just a sense of oneness. And um, it was like a nirvana experience. For three days, I didn't sleep. I just was euphoric. And that was really the beginning of my art, really. And to this day, those, those are the roots of everything I do. The work consists of four concrete cylinders that are each nine feet in diameter and 18 feet long. And the tunnels align with the sunrise and sunset of the sun on the summer and winter solstices. The four tunnels also have constellations that are cut out through the tunnel. And those four constellations um, are Draco, Perseus, Columba, and Capricorn. Um, Nancy Holt rented a studio in Salt Lake City and she spent about a year living in Utah uh, creating this work. She first started creating models and drawings in 73 and the work was completed in 1976. So when you create a work like this that's out in the middle of the desert <laughs> in Utah, um, in order for people to experience it and to spread the story of the work, Nancy Holt created a number of photographic series and also created a film. The majority of the film is dedicated to the construction of sun tunnels. Nancy was very much fond of skill and skilled laborers, and she really respected the people that she worked with. And I think in the film Sun Tunnel, she really wanted to honor that, to honor the labor that went into creating something like this. And if you read some of her writings, she talks about how exciting it was to see this transition when she was working with these, uh, the, the pipe manufacturers who pour these concrete culverts, working with them and seeing the shift that took place where they started to understand and take pride in the work that they were doing. And it took an incredible amount of planning and forethought to execute a work like Sun Tunnels, where you have these four concrete cylinders that are each 22 tons. She was working with 40 people to collaborate and organize. For me as an artist, it's really inspiring to see that, to see a work like this that took so much planning and so much forethought and organization.
This morning I had the map open and said, where can we go not too far overnight? And I looked in the West Desert and went, the sun tunnels. I think a lot of times people are looking for something that not a lot of people know about that's kind of adventurous and out there and that's kind of secluded and, you know, the little secrets of the land. And I think this is one of them. That's something you can come and, come and find that a lot of people don't know about, something cool to experience. Most years there's usually between 100 and, and 200 people. I think this is my seventh or eighth time being here in the summertime and I was out here once for the winter solstice. I think it's really amazing about pieces of land art. You, your perspective changes as the light changes and so you can't really see them, they're concrete, they blend in. You can't really tell what it is until you get up close and personal and so you go on this like great journey there's like this great effort to get out to these remote spaces that you just know immediately why the artist chose to do what they did when you're out in the middle of a desert like that um, there's nothing to refer to you know like there's it's very vast it's very overwhelming and you get dislocated the sculptured focus is your attention. Nancy Holt was interested in raising questions about the way that we relate to landscape. How, by changing our perception of the landscape, we might completely shift our relationship with it. And that by placing these sun tunnels here, how does it change the way that we understand where we are on the planet and where we are in the universe? Out in the desert, it's like a vault of stars, you know, like it's a vault over your head. And so the tunnels uh, repeat that. The fact that the sun is shining through the star holes, casting spots of light on the tunnels and the configuration of stars, actually, you're walking on stars. And then you have a sense of uh, the planet because it's so vast there. Um, and because maybe you're walking on land that's never been walked on before. I mean, that sensation is really exciting. So you have this, like, sense of time, geologic time. 